Hello YouTube, this is Daniel, Pilot Raider 14. Basically, I am just trying to highlight a, an issue with anti-aliasing, as I've discussed on the P3D forums. The biggest complaint I've had right now with it is that the runway lines and taxiway lines are not um, anti-aliased. So they're very jagged, and you can actually notice it when you're flying. So in, in this situation, you can notice that there's a lot of jagged lines on the runway when you're about to take off. Let me go ahead and show you guys here what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and accelerate the aircraft. And this is not even very close to the screen. As you can tell, I'm using my tripod just to go ahead and be able to swap between computers because I have the other simulators on the other one installed as well. So, sorry the screen is um, flickering from the refresh rate, it's 144 hertz. But I don't know if you guys can tell, this line here is just completely jagged and it looks like as if it's moving along with the runway at the same time. I don't know why it's been doing that, but I hope you guys can see that. So let me stop the aircraft. So as you guys can tell also up ahead, the white outline again, very aliased. And the same thing goes for the taxiway lines. The same thing goes for the taxiway lines. So let me see if there is some over here. I can't even back up. Since I'm not really flying right now. Let me increase the power a little bit just to show you guys the, the runway and taxiway lines here. Okay, I think this is a good enough spot. Yeah, that's good. Stop, stop, stop. So do you guys see that over here in this area where I'm pointing with my finger? It's basically flickering back and forth as I move the aircraft. When you're super close to the aircraft, you can't tell that there's a problem. It's only when you when you look a little bit up ahead, like maybe 10, 20 feet from here, um, that you start to notice that there is a lot of jaggedness going on, shimmering, in fact. And also, if you look up ahead towards the uh, scenery, you'll notice it as well. In the distance, there's a lot of shimmering going on, and it's not. I'm not even moving the aircraft right now. The aircraft is vibrating though, so that's probably why it's causing that aliasing to happen. And you can really notice it over here, so take a look at that, you know. I don't know what's causing that to occur, but it's there. <laughs> I explained over to, I believe his name is Bo Hollis from Lockheed Martin, the issue. So I don't know what it is, but beyond a certain threshold on the line here, it shows jagged, and then and then below it, it will show it'll look a little bit normal, sort of, but not exactly. And you can tell this is with FXAA off. I don't like to use FXAA. It looks completely blurry at the same time when you use it, and uh, it doesn't always fix the lines correctly. So I just use 4x MSAA. But you can tell over here on this side that the line just you know remains jagged as if it's like a like shark teeth going across the runway and then just quickly enough I'll show you guys my other setup here is just the area Alienware Area 51 MR2 so let me brighten up the screen Oop, my bad. this is the example so when I go ahead and put it into full screen uh, windowed mode you'll see the jagged lines appear across the runway. Do you see that? And the even the hills look terrible. <laughs> and also over here on this side of the runway. But if I go ahead and press Alt Enter to go back into the uh, simulator uh, in full screen mode, you'll notice that the lines completely straighten out. And same thing for the hills. Okay, so that issue right there is um, fixed by going into full screen mode. The only problem is though that I have another system down here below me 
and it's a 570 graphics card and I just decided, I decided to use this one because it's my oldest system but the same issue occurs here at the same airport in pre, uh, prepared version 3 so do you notice this line right here like it's super jagged at the same time it, it's just not straight at all it wasn't like this in the past if um, I remember throughout my entire um, flight sim history here but yeah like I've been flying since FS9 and it's never looked like this in the past and even if I accelerate the same thing occurs so let me see if I can do it here yeah, there we go I just have to switch the KVM but yeah take a look at that the line it appears to follow <laughs> to follow me and if I if I move the camera same thing over here same problem the line it's just it's just really weird I'm just gonna let it go off the runway here <laughs> alright but anyways that's basically the issue that I'm having and not just that it's also on the aircraft body themselves so this is windowed mode again you can see the aliasing is back it's on the wings of the aircraft front and back and then when I go ahead and press alt enter it smooths out so this is uh, Windows 10 20 H2 uh, on my laptop here it's running the latest driver so 465.89 and over here on the 570 um, uh, desktop it's running a much older driver I believe it's in the 300s 350 or 351 something like that but I'm not gonna worry about that <laughs> so let me just come back over here and uh, again you know this this problem occurs on the aircraft on the outside of the uh, on the body so let me see if I can show you where like it's all basically right there in the nose so it's right about here you can tell that it's not completely smoothed out as it should be so yeah I don't know what to do about it you know I've contacted Nvidia I've, I've sent feedback support to Microsoft and nobody seems to be paying attention to this issue it seems that they don't care about the quality of the image anymore and they're just gonna basically tell us to turn on FXAA and live with it but you know I I refuse to accept that this is normal <laughs> um, which because I know that it isn't normal and I basically like I said I've been flying since FS9 and that was like 15 years ago <laughs> so this change came all of a sudden I don't believe that this problem though is tied to Lockheed Martin directly or to P3D so like I said I made this video to basically just showcase the issue and to hopefully have the developers maybe contact uh, NVIDIA or Microsoft to resolve the issue and maybe we can go from there uh, but yeah thanks a lot for watching go ahead and subscribe if you like this you know sorry I didn't get to show you guys my entire setup here but if you guys would like to see more go ahead and subscribe I will go ahead and make a separate video um, about my setup thank you guys take care and have a great day Bye.